Hi, boys and girls. Miss Mary here to bring you this week's lesson, and I'm so excited to do it. I really am. Did any of you hear the speaker、um, yesterday at our sermon? Did you hear what he talked about? He talked about the same thing we're going to talk about today. He's going to. He talked about the Good Samaritan, and that's out of the Book of Luke. In the Bible, and it's chapter ten, and it's called the Parable of the Good Samaritan. Do you know what a Samaritan is, boys and girls? Do you know? I bet you don't know. Well, it was a man from the country of Samaria, Sam, yeah, Samaria, and he was not well liked. He was not. But our story goes on to tell that this Samaritan showed mercy and compassion. Do you know what mercy is? Mercy is being grateful and thankful and forgiving when it's really hard to do so. It really is, and forgiving for people—that's part of mercy—is being there and forgiving people. And we like it when God shows us mercy. So today, I'm going to share with you the story, and then we're going to talk about it a little bit. It's called the Good. Samaritan. Jesus told a story to teach people to love others. One day, a man was walking alone on a mountain path. A gang of robbers jumped out at him. They beat him up and stole everything he had. The man was very hurt. A priest soon walked the same path. He saw the man, but didn't do anything to help. Next, someone from the temple saw the man. They also ignored him. The third person was a Samaritan. They were enemies. But he had mercy on the man. He gave him a drink. He bandaged his wounds and put him on his donkey. The Samaritan took the man to the inn. He paid the innkeeper to take care of him. He promised to come back and make sure the man was okay. Jesus said we should show God's love to everyone. Boys and girls, that's why this story is so important. It's about showing God's love to everyone and being there and caring and helping. So, the story goes on to say, "Who is my neighbor? Was it the two men that passed by, or was it the Samaritan?" I think the Samaritan was more the neighbor because he stopped and he helped. And boys and girls, that's what we need to remember. We need to remember that we need to be the Samaritan, maybe the one who's going to help in many different ways. There were a lot of people that didn't like the Samaritans, but you know what? The Samaritan he had the love of Jesus, and that's why he helped the man that was injured and hurt. That was very important that he did that. Would you want to help your enemy? Boy, sometimes it's tough for us if we don't like people and something happens and they need help. It's hard for us to do that, boys and girls. But the Samaritan showed us exactly what we need to do: to go ahead and help our enemy, to help those who need help, whether they're our friends or not. And the Samaritan went far beyond just helping. He took him to a place. He paid for his care, and he made sure that everything was okay. And that's what God wants us to do too. He does. He wants us to think of ways to be a good neighbor. And boys and girls, we've been talking about that: being a disciple, telling people about Jesus. Well, now we're going to up our game a little bit because now. Now we need to treat people like our neighbors and be a good neighbor to somebody. Maybe this week, boys and girls, you could help somebody. 
Maybe you have a neighbor that needs help in their yard. Maybe your mom or dad. Maybe your grandma needs help. Maybe a brother or sister needs help, a younger one or an older one that you could help. And you could be a good neighbor to them. Wouldn't that be wonderful that you could show mercy and kindness to them? Just like the man did in our story. I'm going to read you the last verse in the book of Luke on chapter 10. And it says, Jesus told him, go and do likewise. That's what he's telling us to do, to go and do likewise. So boys and girls, Jesus wants us to be like the good Samaritan, to be the good neighbor. And boys and girls, I hope you do that this week. I hope you find somebody that you can be a neighbor to. Let me pray for you. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for all my little friends. And thank you, Jesus, Lord, that you would bless them right where they are. And Father God, I praise you and thank you, Jesus, Lord, that you would give them an opportunity this week to be a good neighbor to somebody in their family or their neighborhood and that they would be used by you, Heavenly Father, Lord God. So bless each one of them. Bless their families, Lord Jesus. Until we can meet again, we thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. So boys and girls, until we can meet together again in class, Miss Mary loves you, and I hope you have a wonderfully blessed day. Bye.